Good evening. The executive session of the Wayne Board of Education Public Works Session meeting of April 16th was convened via Zoom uh, this evening. The statement of compliance setting forth time, date, and location was read in accordance with the requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act and the roll call was taken. The meeting was recessed and is now being reconvened. Let's begin with a flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Good evening. Thank you for attending virtually. Uh, let's begin with you, Dr. Toback, and your superintendent's report. Good evening. I'd like to start this evening by wishing all members of our Wayne Township Public School community well during this difficult time. I'd also like to thank our teachers, our school leaders, for their incredible effort in making the most of the difficult situation. Now more than ever, teaching is more than delivering content, and we all have a role in attending to a variety of other social and emotional needs. Our existing goal to promote health and wellness before the pandemic made a meaningful difference in our schools. It's even more important to pursue as a goal now. So in considering the many needs that exist at this time, the district assembled a comprehensive list of resources available for all parents and students, as well as a new FAQ that pertains specifically to issues of health and wellness. All of these documents were developed or assembled by our nurses, our counselors, and our assistant director of student support services, Scott Burkholder. It's a very direct and easy way find and take advantage of resources that are available right now. We'll be sending this information out tomorrow to the school community as a guiding document for all of our interventions as a great resource. We included resources available through the Wayne Township Public Schools plus other resources available in Wayne or through Passaic County. We know that this will be a big help to many families because the materials were assembled based on recent counseling sessions where we heard things that are happening in the community. So I encourage all families to review this information will come to you tomorrow. I'm also happy to report that another round of donations of personal protective equipment is being made to our main office of emergency management. After speaking to our local OEM officer, there still is a tremendous need for personal protective equipment, especially surgical masks and gloves for our first responders and also at our nursing facilities. This donation is being made after completing an inventory of medical supplies and conferring with the office of emergency management. Although the doors of the Wayne YMCA are physically closed, the Y employees are working to find new ways to support the community, including the school system. Launched last week, a new virtual distance learning support program was designed to alleviate the stress on families who are now working from home and providing educational instruction to their children throughout the school day. The YMCA's program offers virtual one-to-one -one support for school assignments for youth in grades K-8. Qualified child care professionals and staff who have experience working with school age youth will help your children complete school assignments through one hour live virtual chat sessions. Contact the YMCA for more information. So many things have changed when it comes to public education and more changes are on the horizon. But some things that remain the same, um, and one of those is the budget process. So our timeline for budget development and approval remains the same. We're entering the final part of the budget development process. At this time, I would like to ask Mr. Moffitt to update the Board of Education and the community on the budget perhaps some other important issues that pertain to our district's finances. Thank you, Dr. Toback. Yes, uh, the district did receive uh, budget approval by the New Jersey Department of Education County Office. The board will officially be in a position to advertise all information to that, for that budget in anticipation for a uh, public hearing that will be held on May 7th. Uh, that information will be posted, uh, the standard information will be posted in newspapers. So keep your eye out for that. Um, another interesting development with uh, regarding new legislation, the governor signed on uh, April 14th, uh, S2338, which is named the COVID-19 Fiscal Mitigation Act into law. There, there are basically three areas uh, that I'd like to highlight tonight. Uh, first, uh, in the area of uh, it grants, the law of grants an extension for the payment of income taxes to basically moving from April 15th to July 15th and changes the end of the fiscal year for the state, which moves it from June 30, 2020 to September 30, 2020. The next fiscal year, which would be fiscal year 2021, 
at the state level will be from October 1, 2020 to June 30, 2021. So as you can see, the state's already anticipating um, some additional information uh, at the end of the summer, uh, and then it will impact next year's fiscal year. Uh, the second area of the law that I'd like to highlight would be uh, the state treasurer was, uh, uh, will have to basically prepare uh, a report on the financial condition of this fiscal year, which is 2020, uh, and also next fiscal year, which would be 2021. Specifically, the report will cover updating revenue projections. They'll also be providing a, a detailed spending plan, which will include uh, the state uh, aid figures. Um, and lastly, that report will uh, also have an assessment of the economic conditions at the time and the potential of uh, those conditions on the proposed budget, which will be the 2021 budget. And the last part of the, the highlight for that law is uh, the governor is to provide a revised budget message for the 2020-21 fiscal year uh, by basically uh, August 25. So that 25th update will be assumptions for that October fiscal year beginning, uh, that next fiscal year, which is 2021. And again, that message will be delivered by August 25, 2020. Uh, so it'll be a busy uh, couple months ahead of us to see what information is going to be provided by the state of New, New Jersey as it relates not only to potential cash flow issues, but also next year's budget. So uh, it will be uh, tuning in regularly to the governor's uh, addresses. So uh, that concludes my update. Thank Just finally, you very Governor much, Murphy. Yeah. Go ahead, and Dr. Tabak. Sorry. Finally, Governor Murphy announced today that schools will be closed at least through May 15. So that will take us through at least one more phase of the school shutdown plan. So let's hope that next month we see the kind of progress that we need to reopen. One more thing that has not changed is the requirement to report HIV incidents at each Board of Education meeting. So during this reporting period, there were zero incidents reported as HIV. Even though we are not reporting any incidents for this reporting period, I'd like to mention that HIV requirements are still in effect. If there are suspected incidents, those incidents should be reported at the building level as you normally would. That concludes my report. Thank you, Dr. Toback. Uh, are there revisions to the agenda, Mr. Moffitt? Mr. Moffitt. Yes, we have a few items tonight. Um, in the first area, in the public work session, we'll be amending uh, the M. PWS, which is a human resource section. Uh, item number two, uh, PWS approval of leave changes. Uh, item number one, uh, which is ID number 6572, will change from uh, Wayne Hills to Wayne Valley. Um, and we'll be adding two additional items tonight under emergent school resource legal. Uh, we'll add uh, two items under this heading. The first one is X1, which would be approval settlement agreement. The recommended action re, uh, is read, um, resolve that the Board of Education upon the recommendation of the superintendent hereby approves the settlement agreement between the Wayne Township Board of Education and the Wayne Education Association dated April 1, 2020 and settlement of several PERC and other matters as attached by reference and further authorizes the board president and secretary to execute same on behalf of the board. The business administrator and superintendent are authorized to take all further steps required by the terms of the settlement to further implement same. Uh, the second item we're adding is, eight, uh, is X2, which is an approval of settlement agreement. And the action reads as, resolve that the Board of Education upon the recommendation of the superintendent hereby approves the settlement agreement between the Wayne Township Board of Education and employee ID number 5606, dated April 13th, 2020, and further authorizes the board president and secretary to execute same on behalf of the board. The business administrator and superintendent are authorized to take all further steps required by the terms of the settlement to further implement same. That concludes the revisions. Thank you, Mr. Moffitt. Now we're moving to our public portion on agenda items only. This portion of the meeting is open to citizens for comment on agenda items only. Residents are to state their name, addresses, and subject matter. Comments may be limited to five minutes per person. 
members of the public are discouraged from speaking negatively about an employee or a student. The board bears no responsibility for comments made by the public. Comments made regarding employees or students cannot be legally responded to by the board. Other comments may be responded to tonight or at subsequent meetings under all business. Can I get a mover? Move. Second. That was whom? I, I heard Don was the second, but who moved? Mr. Giordano. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt was the yep. mover and Mr. Pavlak was the second? Yes. Okay. So those of you who are attending online, there is a button on your Zoom at the bottom that says raise hand if anyone would like to come to the virtual podium. Is there anyone on the phone, Mr. Burchard? I don't see any hands raised in Zoom. There is one person on the phone. If that person would like to speak, that you would use star nine to virtually raise their hand. Okay, thank you. That's star nine if you're on the phone. And press raise hand in Zoom if you'd like to speak at this portion. Madam President, if there's no one, I move to close. Okay, that's Mr. Second. Cadillac and Mr. Giordano. All right, thank you. We'll move on to approval of minutes. Item J, can I get a mover? I'll move. Second. Stacy and Matt. Any discussion on the minutes? No. Roll call, please. Mrs. Albanese? Yes. Mr. Bubba? Yes. Mr. Duffy? Yes. Mr. Giordano? Yes. Mrs. Kumar? Yes. Mr. Pavlak? Yes. Mrs. Putup? Yes. Mrs. Shear? Yes. And Mrs. Kadan. Kadan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, this evening we had, and the last meeting actually, there were committees. I believe we didn't get a chance to report on it. It was our first Zoom meeting and things got a little confuzzled. So um, feel free, whoever wants to give a report first. Stacy, personnel, I believe you have a report. I have a report. Hold on, just looking through my notes. Okay, so we had a personnel meeting on April 13th on Zoom. It was myself, Mr. Pavlock, Ms. Kumar, Ms. Clark, Susanna Adamo, Don Reichman, Don Auerbach, Roger Raglan, Mark Toback, Maureen Weir. Dana Sir, Mike Bruick, and Deb Bodie. We had a lot of people. Um, we discussed uh, single contract units. We were given a preschool update uh, and moving ahead as far as hiring people for that. We discussed the employees, just employee situations moving forward um, in, in the next couple of months. That, can be discussed in public. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Share. Mrs. Putup, I think you have two, don't you? Ms. Yeah. Yes, okay, go I ahead. Start wherever you wish. Um, I'm reporting out for facilities and transportation. Um, Mr. Bubba, our chairperson, has a little bit of a cough, he's a little under the weather. So I said I would report out in his stead. Um, Mr. Bubba, Mrs. Kazan, uh, myself, Mr. Moffat, our business administrator, um, Mr. Meso, our head of building services, Mr. Fennell, head of transportation, attended the meeting virtually. Um, Mr. Meso began with district building statuses. 
Um, first of all, our staff is helping with uh, any student lunch service, services being provided at this time. They're doing building walkthroughs um, very on, on a very tight schedule to ensure safe conditions and monitor automatic controls in place in the building. We had an update on the Early Childhood Center. The roof work is being done. The HVAC is installed and is being checked. Ceilings and painting is done. Next would be plumbing and flooring. And all our inspections are up to date. Uh, we're looking at phase three of the science lab renovation, and that is going along smoothly. Um, we discussed ESIP two, the energy savings plan phase, and we, uh, phases, and we are in phase two of a three-part review process. And Mr. Meso is confident, and so is Mr. Moffat, that that is going well at this time. Uh, we're taking a carting bid um, for waste materials on Thursday, the 30th of April. We are safely sanitizing and disinfecting our building uh, in hopes that we can resume school in the future. Uh, transportation from Mr. Fennell. Um, he has periodic conference calls with staff. Uh, they visually check on the buses and um, keep in touch with the 70 drivers we have in the district. Um, and they are working on um, various uh, items to make sure that if school does open, transportation will be ready to roll, no pun intended, um, when that happens. That's the end of the report, thank you. I also have a report for the Education Committee uh, this morning, um, Mrs. Sher, Mrs. Kumar, and myself met with Assistant Superintendent Donna Reichman. Uh, we reviewed the minutes from last month's meeting on March 5th. We went over the agenda for today's meeting. We discussed the district's distance learning plan to support our students and their families at this difficult time. Um, our creative teaching staff is reaching to out to students using different resources, both hard copy and digitally. They are using a variety of tools to support the learning process. Um, this includes presentations uh, using Google Classroom, YouTube, Seesaw, Screencastify, Flipgrid, and Zoom, to name a few. Plus, there are online resources that come with our purchased curriculum products. Uh, we talked briefly about uh, our summer school agreement and decided to table that to, to the next meeting pending on more information from the state of New Jersey. All KRAP sections for fall of 2020 are filled. The registration went very well. There will be 236 participants. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Putta. Okay, let's move on to emergent letter R which is the approval of the public work session items. Can I get a mover? Move. Second. Mr. Giordano? Second. 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 Duffy. Ah, thank you, Mr. Duffy. Okay, are there any discussion on the uh, public work session items? We're just moving those to the next meeting. Roll call, Mr. Moffat. Mr. Bubba? Yes. Mr. Duffy? Yes. Mr. Giordano? Yes. Mrs. Kumar? Yes. Mr. Pavlak? Yes. Mrs. Puttup? Yes. Mrs. Shear? Yes. Mrs. Albanese? Yes. And Mrs. Kazan? Yes. Motion passed. Okay, now we have the rest of the agenda. We can do it individually or someone can move them in bulk. Can I get a mover? I'll move. The whole agenda? The entire agenda. 
Okay. Sorry, Don, if I, a second. 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 Sorry, Don, if I jumped ahead of you. Go ahead. Mr. Duffy. I'm with you, brother. Moved by Mr. Duffy, seconded by Mr. Pavlak. Just remember on the last item, X number one will require abstentions. Yes. Uh, roll call, Mr. Moffat. We're moving R Mr. through yep. X. R through X. Uh, yep. S through X. Uh, Mr. Duffy? Yes. S through X. You're right. Mr. Giordano? Yes, but I'm standing on X1. Mrs. Kumar? Yes, but ex abstain on X1. Um, Mr. Pavlak? Yes, and I'll abstain on X1. Mrs. Putup? Yes, on all items. Mrs. Shear? Yes, but I'm going to abstain on X1. Mrs. Albanese? Yes. Mr. Bubba? No to X1, yes to the rest. Mrs. Kazan? Yes. Uh, all except for X1, um, unless they just need a super, the majority of the sitting board, Mr. Uh, Geppert? I have one, two, three, four, four abstentions and one no on X1, which is a. Yeah, you need just three of the five votes there. So if you have four, that does pass. Okay, so that all motions pass. Thank you, Mr. Moffat. Okay, now we're going to move to our general public comments section. This portion of the meeting is open to citizens for comment on any topic. Residents are to state their names, addresses, and subject matter. Comments may be limited to five minutes per person. Members of the public are discouraged from speaking negatively about an employee or a student. The board bears no responsibility for comments made by the public. Comments regarding employees or students cannot be legally responded to by the board. Other comments might, may be responded to tonight or at subsequent meetings under old business. Can I get a mover? Move. Mr. Giordano? Yes. Second. Mr. Pavlak. Second. Mr. Pavlak, I heard you first. Okay. Um, same instructions. You need to raise your hand by pushing the button on Zoom or star nine if you're on the phone to speak at this public portion on any topic. I don't see any hands raised. Madam President, if there is no one, I move to close public portion. No one on the phone, Mr. Borchard? Okay, yes, Mr. Pavlak is the mover. Mr. Duffy is the second to close public portion. Okay. Old business. New business. I'll uh, just wish uh, everybody have a healthy uh, time here. I know it's a difficult time for everybody and uh, a very strange time. But, uh, you know, stay true and uh, we'll all be good. Anyone else? Okay, I'll sign off with everyone be well, you, your families. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, about your students, uh, we're here. The teachers are here. The administrators are here. I see your finger, Mrs. Sharp. Um, we haven't left. Don't let social distancing divide us. We're we're still all here for you. Go ahead, Mrs. Sharp. Sorry, I'm out. Um, I just wanted to say for public that um, being that the governor just. Um, extended it to May 15th. I know that graduation and everything and, and prom, every, everything that happens at the end of the year has already been a big topic. And every time the governor extends it, once again, people jump on the issue again as far as graduations. So to, I think just to let the public know, I promise you that our administration, this is in their thoughts, 
They want graduations too, and we are discussing it. The public's concerned that it's not even being discussed. And I just want to let them know, I'm sure Dr. Toback and Ms. Reichman have gotten 100 emails. It's being discussed. It will be discussed further. And just take a deep breath. I have a senior myself. And hopefully great things will happen. I just want to put that out there publicly. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Scher. You're absolutely I'm done, correct. Suzanne. <laughs> OK. okay. We have, we have a little bit of a delay. Did you want to speak, Mrs. Pada? No, I just want every bit but one being healthy and safe. Thank you. Not... Can I get a mover to close this meeting? I'll move. Mr. Second. Kelly, Mr. Pavlak. Okay. Have a good evening, everyone, and thank you for those who attended. Good night and stay.